Still ahead here on Al Jazeera, students in Bangladesh take to the streets in Dhaka, calling for justice following the death of two college fellows. Are calling to say a lot of young people of future. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, in Heilongjiang Province, northeast China. Now, the Bangladeshi government has closed all educational institutions for security as anger grows over the road deaths of two students. Thousands of young people have blocked streets across the capital, Dhaka, for a fifth day. Witnesses say a speeding bus hit and killed the two students on Sunday. Now, the protesters are calling for the arrest of the driver and better road safety measures. Tanvir Chowdhury is our correspondent and is following events for us from the Bangladeshi capital. I mean, is this protest by the students just about the deaths, Tanvir, or the general sort of law and order environment overall? I think it's an overall frustration. I mean, uh, we have seen protests by the students over quota reform. That has not been accepted by the government. Many of the students were beaten up by the government party. Uh, students. Now, this is a very unprecedented because you can see students as young as nine years, ten years old in the streets. Average age probably would be around 13 to 18 years old or 21 years old college students uh, from high school, junior high. Even their parents are on the field. Some of the areas in Dhaka that formed a human chain and the guardians are putting support for the students. They want reform in the road safety. Bangladesh has a notorious road safety record uh, pedestrian just last year 4,000 pedestrians were killed uh, you can see old cars trucks and buses without proper license even headlights in some cases still ply on the road in the evening they want some sort of major reform in the transportation system they want punishment for those who drive buses and trucks without license some cases you can see Drivers as young as 12 years, 14 years old, riding public buses without license. Now, the government knows about all this. These are all in the books, but they fail to enforce these things. As you have mentioned, is there an overall frustration? Of course, there is. Uh, people are unable to protest nowadays. There's a limited space for freedom of expression. The press freedom is also limited. Uh, there is an election down in the end of this year. So there is a general sense of frustration. Opposition parties cannot protest. They don't get permission to protest. So okay. there is an overall frustration. Otherwise, you wouldn't see this sort of unprecedented number of students in the street all across the country. Indeed. Just give us a sense then. Uh, I mean, behind you, obviously, lots of people have gathered. We can hear the police sirens or certainly emergency services sirens in the background. What is the atmosphere there like on Thursday? Okay, I'm in a place, uh, this place is called Farmgate. It's one of the busiest intersections in the city. You don't see as much traffic. Behind me, a bunch of students have gathered. They're chanting slogan, we want justice, and all other their demands. Now, they've blocked part of the intersection with a double-decker bus. I don't think you can see that on my right. And there's another double-decker bus on the left, the station there. So there's a massive traffic gate lock. Most of the people didn't come out. But this is just one part of the intersection in the city. There's several of them all across the city that are blocked like that. And the students are directing traffic. They're allowing emergency vehicle to cross through. They're checking driver's license of uh, public buses and even private cars that do you have a valid driver's license? Why aren't you wearing seat belt? You know, they're, they're taken over the streets, you know, literally. And this movement probably will continue until most of the demands are not met. And there's going to be probably a political fallout, if not anything, out of this okay. down the road. We shall see what happens as the day progresses. For the moment, Tanvir, thank you.